Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be fixing uh, the window trim on the 240S. X. But uh, first of all, don't mind my little friend here. Her name's Felicia and she's camera shy, so I'm gonna hold my camera on the other hand so you can see my good side and not the other side because it's kind of embarrassing, man. Today, we're gonna be fixing that a window trim and I'm gonna try my best to fix it for under a 10 dollars because you know it's a budget bill so we're trying to keep everything at a low uh, cost. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys out there also stress about the old a window trim because they fade because of the sun because you park outside over time and you know it just gets old so today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that the easiest way but before we start this vlog I want to show you a little something that I made ooh 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 I got you guys some black bags <laughs> JK you are probably wondering what's inside well Let's open it up. Alright, which one should I open first? This one, this one, or this one? You know what? I'm just gonna go with uh, this one right here. Okay, let's see what's inside. Can you see? Nope, you cannot. <laughs> Ta-da! So I made phone mounts. And this is magnetic. Look at this. Check this out. Boom! Just like that. And this is double side tape where it goes onto the other end. And you can put it anywhere on the table, on your car. What's cool about this is it's small, it's portable, and it turns 180 degree, 360, whichever you want, man. Left, right, up, and down. And they're pretty stable and sturdy. Look at this, what do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Now, let's open up the other two bags. Ta-da! This one is silver, pretty much the same thing, but just different color. Here we go, last but not least, I think you guys might like this one because I like this one. This is actually gold, man. Look at this. Ooh, ba bam. So it comes in three color black, a silver, and gold. Check this out, dude. Look how clean they look. So before you put it on, you want to clean the surface with some rubbing alcohol so that the double side tape can stick on really good. Check this out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Now, I have a little spot for my table whenever I want to say use my phone or not use my phone but leave it there, right? And it, it's easier for me to see text, notifications, and when I charge it, it's going to be right there too. So, a perfecto! And when I take it out, it's a lifestyle, boys. If you guys like these well head over to the website and cop them before they're gone because I only order 50 of these guys I wanted to try it out see how it is and so far dude they are very good the color is sick the quality is excellent and they're this a small a tiny you can literally put them anywhere so make sure to check it out on the website but with that being said let's start this vlog look at this thing can't wait to work on it some more. I got a couple more car parts, just came in the mail. I'm gonna put it on uh, this week. But today, we gotta get rid of this ugly ass window trim right here. Gotta peel off all of the, I don't know what this is, tape or paint? I think it's tape. Just gonna peel all of it off and uh, fix it up. Look who we got here. Your most exclusive a uh, fuckboy six. <laughs> wait, but why is it six though? Because you love dicks. <laughs> Look at this dude with the long ass antenna. Look at this. Who does that? Dude, it's 2018, bro. Nobody used antenna no more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just got to Kevin's house, and as you can tell, it's already dark outside. Daylight saving, man. What can I say? The sun goes down pretty quick nowadays, but it's all good. Still gonna keep the vlog going, and um, yeah, let me show you guys what we're gonna be doing today. So I literally spent less than ten dollars for the supply. This is the paint, a black gloss, and some sanding paper. I'm probably only gonna need like a piece of this because the trim is small as you can tell right here we're gonna be painting this today and this one also because it's starting to peel and fade and that's a no-no oh but that paint though 
Woo! I know that before I told you guys, if I check this out, it's gonna break all the tabs and stuff. But the more I look at it, the more it doesn't make sense because how do they even put it on, right? If it breaks, it doesn't make any sense. So, when I look at it, and I look closely, look at this. You have to check this trim out, which is taps right here. Boom, boom. Another one right there. Got to check this screw out. Oh, we're going to be painting this too. It connects all the way around. So, I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to take this little piece out. If you guys have noticed, for some reason, my floor mat, it, it came from an RL. <laughs> No idea why, but hey, we're gonna change that out real soon. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's start checking everything off because I'm not trying to spend the night here. It's already hella dark outside, but the time right now is actually only 6 p.m., guys. Right? Look at this 6 p.m., and it's like pitch black. Let's get to work. Okay, so first thing first, we're gonna take this trim out. There should be three taps right here taps, not screws. This is just kind of pillar trim whatever you call this and we got a drill the machine works so much better than men i'm just kidding <laughs> men power using machine <laughs> oh so we got this pillar trim out next it's gonna be this rubber piece behind the trim is what is this I don't know, but it looks super clean though. And here is what's holding on to the trim. Right there. Dude, look at the inside. It's so clean and new. So just a couple of screws. I'm going to unbolt these and see if this piece will come off. Quick side note, I'm learning everything as I go. I'm just looking at how it lays out and I'm just taking everything off. I'm gonna go put on some gloves. I'll be right back. Dr. Sonny is ready for surgery. Okay. Now that I have taken out all the bolts, I'm gonna attempt to take the trim out and it looks like it wants to come. Oh, oh snap, what? Okay, okay, careful, careful, because this is one of a kind, okay? Very, very rare. <gasps> Dude, it just fell off like that. What? I didn't even... I guess. <laughs> Yay! Mission accomplished. Oot, oot. Oot, oot. I should have taken this out when I painted the car. Man, it's so easy. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but... Look at this. Hey. What? No one gives a shit. Dude, I don't want to be your friend somewhere. <laughs> now, since we figured out how to take this top trim, I'm going to go ahead and take out this side trim and the other side and we'll get started with the sanding hey kevin you want to um trade the trims dude you know what let's do it even though i'm having a bad day yeah you should just take out the trap bro dude thanks bro i feel like being nice is always the right way to go dude you're the man you're the man okay um get out so i can Oh, real quick, before I do this side, I just want to say, I met up with a subscriber yesterday, and he gave me this, bro. Look at this. It's the car jump start power bank, which is going to charge your phones or whatever. And it's a flashlight. We literally have the best subscribers ever, man. I met up with the guy because he was local. He didn't want to pay for shipping. So I met up with him and dropped off two hats, and he gave me this big useful box right here it's a jumper cable but it's a portable jumper cable man you guys are the reason why i keep doing this i love doing this i love making videos i love working on my car i just want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos been supporting me since day one like cop some merch you guys literally made my life <laughs> Let's just not get emotional here. Let's just get back to work, man. Passenger, a driver, I think it's time to sand it down. I'm using 120 grit, a little low because I'm trying to take out everything. Here, Kevin, since you've been working very hard lately, this is for you. <laughs> Open it up, see what's inside. Oh, oh this shit. This is lifestyle, baby. Savage, oh. Thank you, bro. Yeah, here. I got another oh. one for your girlfriend, too. Hey. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> I can finally mount my phone in my car. Yeah. Nope. Your car is finally a lifestyle. It's finally a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell the subscribers um, where they can get one though? Of course, for a certain amount of price, you can find it on the website. It's a lifestyle apparel. Dot big cartel? Dot big cartel. Dot com. Dot motherfucking com. <laughs> After hours of hard work of sanding, I was able to take out all of the stuff on the trim, man. As you can tell now, it's not black anymore. It's kind of chrome, polished, metal-ish. Oh, and one more thing. I actually went back to Home Depot in exchange for Plasti Dip instead of a paint because if you guys think about it, all oh, the trim is rubber, the front windshield, the rear windshield, they're all rubber and if I painted a gloss, a black, it's gonna look kind of weird, right? So I ended up using a Plasti a Dip a matte black so it fits with everything and it doesn't look as weird. It got a little hot so your boy took off the jacket and look at this, it's so fresh and so clean. <laughs> Everything's laid out and ready for paint, boys. Let's do this. No nut November. Yay! Okay, here we go. Alright everybody, so I let the plastic dip dry overnight and I just put everything back onto the car. Check this out. They look brand new, yo. Ooh! Even this too. Looks so good. I'm gonna... <laughs> haven't got a chance to work on this yet, but I think it's just residues from the tape, the masking tape from when I paint the car. But with a little goo gone, I think it's gonna take it right off. Before the window trim, uh, bam! And with that being said, that's a wrap guys. So I'm gonna end the vlog right now. If you guys like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you guys like how this is looking so far, well, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below and let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Yay!